The NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope has recently revealed magnificent sections of the Veil Nebula. The new Hubble images provide beautiful views of the delicate, wispy structure resulting from this cosmic cataclysm. Located at a distance of 1500 light years from Earth, the Veil Nebula, which is also known as Cygnus Loop, is one of the most spectacular supernova remnants in the sky. The entire shell spans some three degrees, corresponding to about six full moons. One of the most remarkable parts of the remnant is the so-called Witch's Broom Nebula. The bright blue star, dubbed 52 Cygni, is unrelated to the supernova explosion. It can be observed with the naked eye on a clear summer's night. The small regions captured in the new Hubble images provide stunning close-ups of the veil. Fascinating smoke-like wisps of gas are all that remain visible of what was once a Milky Way star. Scientists estimate that the supernova explosion occurred some five to 10,000 years ago. Now what that means is that it could have been witnessed and recorded by ancient civilizations. What they would have seen is a star increasing its brightness roughly to the brightness of the crescent moon. The intertwined rope-like filaments of gas in the Veil Nebula result from the enormous energy released as the fast-moving debris from the supernova explosion plows into the surroundings and creates a shock front. This shock driven by debris moving at 600,000 kilometers per hour, heats the gas to millions of degrees. It is the subsequent cooling of this material that produces the brilliantly colored glows. So why are astronomers interested in studying supernovae and their remnants? The reason is that they are extremely important for understanding the history of our own Milky Way. Although only a few stars per century in our galaxy end their lives in this spectacular way, these explosions are more or less directly responsible for creating all the elements in our universe that are heavier than iron. For example, all the copper, mercury, gold, iodine and lead that we see on Earth around us here today were forged in these violent explosions billions of years ago. The expanding shells of the supernova remnants eventually mixed with other material in the Milky Way and this became the raw material for the next generation of stars and planets, including our own solar system. So the chemical elements that constitute the planets, the Earth, the plants and animals around us, and indeed our very selves, were built deep inside ancient stars and in supernova explosions. So the green in the grass and the red of our blood are in fact the colors of stardust.